please welcome Faith Farzine. Yeah, he had a. It looked like it was an emotional loss when he lost to Kaiser. Of course, he How was shook. He was shook. I just love that he sat there thinking after the first game, and then like after like 30 seconds, Dennis both his hands went on his head. <laughs> it's like it's like damn, of course. But here he is, still making it in to the top eight here. The kid still has a chance. Uh, he, he had a lot of close matches. He had a lot of oh, close yeah. matches to get into here. It was definitely not an easy. And path his him. opponent, representing talent, please. Oh, boom. Please, Book. Here we go. And man, Book, he's, he's been wild, right? We saw him come with not doing so hot. He's been really hit or miss, hot and cold, right? Uh, but I'm curious to see what we see from him today. The gym was really good. He had that crazy set with Cuddle Core to make it through, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, where they ended in a double KO, you know, they had to replay the game and everything. Uh, but he, he really came in clutch afterwards, right? He really figured out the match. And from what I've seen so far, he seems to be a little bit of a slow starter. But then once he gets going and he understands the match, he's like, all right, I know exactly what to do now. And Book is another one of those players. He's a, a silent killer. You know, oh, yeah. he is focused. He is uh, always, you know, focused on his mental state. And he's been in the USA <laughs> the whole time since Red Bull Kumite. He's been here the wow. whole time playing and practicing against a lot of the American players, depending on the region where he's been. Mm -hmm. But um, I know he was uh, training with the NorCal players not too long ago before going on this trip and then getting games in with everyone. You know, I feel like it was interesting because, like, you know, obviously with the Pakistani players here, everyone wants to be able to play against them, mm -hmm. but not before the tournament, right? No. They're like, I don't want to show all my cards. I want to save it for tournament. But now I, I get you. I bet you today after all is said and done, everyone's going to try to get some games in. Oh, yeah, It's going to sure. be the rush. But either way, I'm looking forward to this. You know, it's going to be what I think it's going to be. It's going to be Akuma, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, from Farzeen. And then Book has been using Jin. You know, he has talked about it in the past. He's been very vocal about it online. He doesn't know which character to use anymore. Right. Obviously, Jin has been the flavor that he's been messing with lately. Mm -hmm. But, he, you know, he could use Lydia. Yeah. He can use Fakramram. He, he has mentioned that Fakramram is not really his style. But I he see. has these characters in his arsenal. But the thing is, like, when you're going against, like, a world-class player uh, out of Pakistan, it's sometimes it's, it's one of those things like, I got to pick my best. Oh, yeah. I got to pick my best. And, you know, more often than not, that lands on Jin. Yeah, and, you know, whatever your best character is, it's going to be best for you. I mean, just look. What if your best character was Lucky Chloe? Then maybe you could beat Farzine. You know, just do your best with your character. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's Panda. It's happened before. It's definitely, right? Uh, and Jin has been looking good today. He had a really good match with Anakin earlier. You know, he lost that set, but it was still very competitive the whole way through. Uh, down the wire, and man, you know, he really had Anakin sweating. Uh, Anakin has not had an easy path here, but he still made it into the winner's final. And Farzine and Book down, lose the side, trying to stay alive here. Winner of this, by the way, gets Kaiser. So Farzine, if he wins Maybe. here, has the opportunity to get revenge, get his run back in the same tournament. But he's got to get through Book first. Oh, yeah. Tall order for any one of these players going into it. I wonder how much Kaiser's going to power up knowing now, going into the loser bracket, having some time to kind of sit back and review what's been happening and what's been transpiring. It's a, it's a good time to be back into Tekken, man. I'm oh, telling yeah. you, man, I'm feeling good. Kaiser definitely, I think, you know, he's a relatively newer player, you know, mainly playing a lot of online. I think, like, the whole entrance and getting in the ring and being on stage in front of everyone, I feel like that's his first time really feeling that kind of an experience. Uh, and I think that probably affected him a little bit. We'll see how he plays the next time around. But here we go, Akuma versus Jin Kazama. I love the picks here. The main characters are coming out to play. Book oh, yeah. With the Jin, top eight. Game on. Wow. Arena stage again. Game on. All right, starting it off, we are in the arena, as Rip mentioned. Wow, the parry the, there. The intensity is so crazy, we don't even know which screen to look at. Mm -mm. Anyways, oh, he's, okay, so one of the early tests that I've noticed here, especially with a lot of the players, just in general, yes. is everyone fears the load, especially when there's meter, right? Yep. But it's the use of the mids that he has is really what sets people apart. Mm -hmm. How you use the jumps and the demon flips mm -hmm. and whether or not you attack early. Because, you know, a lot of people now, they're used to anti-airing line. I'm going to throw out a jab. I'm going to oh, throw gosh. out a, oh, my gosh. He got him. He's going to push towards the wall here. Not only that, he can get some extra damage. Goes to the Tatsu. Nice blocking the down through that time. Side steps good. Down back for a counter it. They used to juggle. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking the same thing. Wait, wait, off the wall sideways. Double rage. The oh, parry. what a parry. What the? The parry you missed. And he got an auto block. And it's booked with the first round here. And, you know, the one thing we did see in the Kaiser set from Farzine is that he can get broken mentally, right? Oh, yeah. So we'll see how this plays out. But nice get up kick there. Oh, yeah. He's going to get pretty damn far. Going to get to the wall. Oh, he missed the dive kick. 
He hit the. He didn't hit the down three at the apex. Okay. Too far. Way too far. Man. The 2 4 punch was good there. 4 4 2 Tong Ball up. Looking good. Oh, nice. He tries to keep him there. Did not get the win electric and hook fist. Look at this. The challenge. Oh, that was so just good. Just far enough. And that's too far for a combo. He's dead. Kill him. Oh, man. The adjustment into the easy combo there. Yeah, the wall carry extension. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what they call that new move. It's like, you know, usually it's like the laser cannon, but it looks uh -huh. different. We're gonna give it a new name. Or something, probably. Laser Lancer. Let's call it that. Laser Lancer? Yep. Good Rolls block. off the gun. Dude, Book is being farting up right now. And get the wall wow. the timing. I mean, when you said he got broken, I didn't know it was like this. That was surprising. That is the best I've seen Book do in a top eight in recent memory. And it was with the Jin, and it was against a very strong player in Farzine. Oh, yeah. All right, Farzine thinking about it now. Thinking about it, uh -oh. you know, you know. originally he was a Steve player. I wonder if he's thinking, because no you know, way. Steve, Steve I've heard is good really against good against Jin. Traditionally, but you know, if anyone has experience against Steve, it is Book. It is Book. If okay. anyone has experience against that character, it is Book. But you know what? I think he's sticking to Akuma. I think so, yeah. He's looking like he's, like he's just at the stage select here. Gonna pick Jungle Outpost number two, I believe. Gotta stay composed here. But that was that was surprising. Three rounds straight there for Book. All right. Into the jungle outpost. Mm -hmm. Book is, as you mentioned, in the lead right now. Will Farzin be able to make a comeback here? You know, I feel like uh, we haven't really seen the clutch from him yet. Yeah, definitely not. And, you know, he's trying to find answers. I think Book has just defended so well against the Kuma's approach. You know, blocking those down It was three straight two. rounds, bro. A lot of those parries were on point. You know, and think about Jin's fair push. He missed the parry fine. He'll auto block for you anyway, right? So, I mean, he's, Book is looking really sharp. Right now, fishing with a lot more forward fours. He didn't really use that in the first game. Got to be a little bit more careful with that, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, out of the skies. These are protected skies, my friend. That's exactly why he used the four there as well. And his timing on Farzine's getup have been perfect. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, I mean, this could hurt. He doesn't have the meter, but just because of the wall mm -hmm. being there has a, oh, there's the resplat. Do not guess wrong, because he's going to get meter at a moment's notice. We're fine. Oh, the punish. <laughs> he was locked and loaded, ready to go. I like oh, it. Four rounds straight for Buck. So now Side it's like, step. ooh, he gets the pick up there. And the follow-up, he's going to get the wall. Oh my gosh, I get so confused. The Farzine is getting mixed right now. He tried to get them with the Demon Corpse what thrust, is and he disconnected his phone. The Wi-Fi is gone. Rage mode up for Farzine, and he's got one meter. It's not over yet. Still in this round. We've seen Akuma do this before. Doesn't get the meter. Spenixer, though. Uh-oh. This is bad news now for Farzine, but still has rage. Can still combo with that rage art. Oh, yeah. I mean, the, the rage is the big differ, differenti differentiating factor here. Mm -hmm. What is he going to do? How is he going to approach? The thing is, Book is not He's playing not around. Five rounds straight. Farzine on the verge of elimination from the tournament. This is a huge no, statement sir. here. Oh my gosh, nice. Gets the back one. Clips him on the way down. He does have meter as well. Let's see how he uses it. Nice. Oh That's going to hurt. Big time. Put him back up here. Finish the combo. Should be the round, and it is. Farzin on the board. All right, all right. But he has no more meter. That's the thing. He's going to have to be very careful as he goes into this. He can... He can oh, oh my gosh. What a jump over the hell sweep there. Perfect time. And he has the wall. Not only that, he is close to building another meter here. Mm -hmm. LLRK. Book is not going to give him room to breathe. Oh, uh -oh. my gosh. He missed the combo. The combo here for Farzin, though, is going to get to the wall again. Oh boy, and just like that, it's looking bad for Ooh! Book. Farzee fight for his tournament life. One round away. Yeah, just like that, he was able to turn things around here. Book, if Book's gonna go in with an attack, try to take the advantage, now's the time. While oh, he has no yes. meter, but a big counter hit, has the wall. What's he gonna do? Pop, boom. Mm -hmm. Pressure. Side step away. Still good here, Book. Keeping his position. He knows the jump might be coming. Nice, no duck there on the one, two, four. Another Doesn't one. matter. Doesn't get the combo conversion, but Farzine's in big trouble now. No range available. Back to the wall. Oh, oh my big. God. You thought I wouldn't? You thought I wouldn't? Man, Buck is wild. What's, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? Hey, wait a minute. Is that allowed? 
Uh, sure, why not? Book over Farzine eliminates him from the tournament. Phase Life Farzine will not get his run back with Kaiser. And it will be Book advancing in the bracket. Yeah. I mean, Thailand. you got to give it up. Seventh place, not 